Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read any noise you hear in the background that is Barney playing here in the kitchen. But I'm still going to read a column from February 1990 called Brothers. Rob went into the bedroom he shared with his younger brother, Russell. Your socks are on my bed, he bellowed. I didn't put them there. Russell didn't look up. He, was, he continued to play on the floor with his toy car collection. I don't care who put them there. Get those disgusting things off my side of the room. Later, I'm busy. Get your stinking dirty socks off my bed, twerp. I'll move them after you get your junk off my side of the room. Rob surveyed the lesser half of the bedroom. Like what? Leaning over, Russell searched far under his dresser with his right hand. After a few seconds of digging, he pulled out a dusty book. Like this. Rob swiped the book out of his hand. I've been looking all over for that. I needed for school last Tuesday. I thought you said you didn't know where it was. Russell didn't look up. I didn't last Tuesday. With double his brother's strength, Rob grabbed Russ by the collar and lifted him off the floor. You little toad, my grade got docked because I couldn't find that book. Put me down. I just found it when I was looking for one of my cars. Rob released his grip, letting Russell fall back onto his toys. Well, you've got to get your socks off my bed anyway. No, I don't. Russell answered was barely bar uh, audible. Then I'll give them to you myself. Rob gingerly picked up the soiled footwear and scrubbed them on his brother's face. At this point, Russell's howling told me it was time for the family referee to come and call time out. I sent Rob outside to shovel snow off the steps and showed Russell where his dirty clothes really belonged and then handed our 10-year-old a broom. For about 10 minutes, there was peace in the house. Then Rob came back in sight. Is it okay if I start the snowmobile up, Mom? If the steps are shoved, go ahead, I said. Rob stood near the door and melted a few minutes longer than I thought necessary. He finally asked, Russell, do you want to come outside and snowmobile? Sure. Russ dropped the broom he had been barely moving and raced for his snowsuit and boots. I looked up. You're asking Russell to come out and play? Just a while ago, you were trying to suffocate him with his dirty socks. Our oldest shrugged. It's no fun alone. Russell's better than nothing. I watched out the window as the two boys roared across the field and wondered what life would have been like if we had stopped having children at one. First, there would have been no work for the family referee. And second, it definitely would have been less expensive but not near as interesting. So I guess all in all, I like things just the way they are. Oh, when the boys were young, they had fun together and they tried to kill each other. So normal. And that was from 1990. Russ was 10 and Rob was almost 15 because his birthday's in March. Anyway, that's it from Sunnybrook Farm. Until next time, have a good day.